Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And honors and salutations to Yuakim that's out, that's laboring in the truth and sincerity without wavering. Um, this is going to be a quick lesson. I'm going to label it uh, the, the men of the Most High will be dragged through the dirt dealing with a lot of slander and everything that's going on out there which really is, is, a, is a ploy to try to stop stop the men of the Lord from teaching you know that's what's happening like you see a lot of these people sit there and they try to equate, equate uh you know GMS or oh, they, they uh, uh believe in raping little kids and, and all that's that's straight up lies man you know but you know, that's part of it, man. That's part of being dragged through the dirt, man. The men of the Lord, when you go back in the scriptures, they 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 would have all kind of accusations and you know, they would call them demons, devils, and everything. So it's not gonna be no different from us, man. You see, you got a lot a lot of, you know, people they you know, and it's all slander and lies and sensationalism. And the and the truth of the matter is they gotta turn to that because they can't deal with the truth. You know, they can't deal with us on no level with the scriptures man you know starting from the apostles on down to you know all the all the brothers in great millstone the real serious brothers you can't you know you can't uh test us with these with this word man with the scriptures man so you got a, a lot of people turn to slander you know they sit there you know you got uh, uh you know i you know most people they sit there and say brothers are pedophiles they try to make mix tapes up they send it to brothers jobs try to get brothers five you know tell you know tell brothers families and all kind of that's in the world and shit like that, just to try to trump up a case, man. And that's like some weak ass shit, man. It you got uh, uh, other dudes out here that think that they deep a, a bunch of Johnny come lately's, you know, a bunch of niggas that don't know what the fuck they doing. They they out there, you know. Now they the Israelite thing is the thing to do. They out there telling, you know, telling, and they don't even realize who they talking to, man. They talking to brothers, sons, uh, uh, other children or whatever, telling them, oh yeah, watch out for, stay away from GMS. They believe in raping women now it's the same in, even in the streets if you call that's like if you call somebody a snitch saying look you got this nigga sent away for 30 years or 40 years niggas say look you got to show me that paperwork man so if you're gonna sit there and talk about and, and call just amongst because that's one of the biggest thing they try to go go through they want to try to convict us through the uh court of public public opinion you know what i'm saying and that's what and i'm gonna bring the scriptures out showing you that's how they did Yahweh Shai, which it was all prophecy though. Because they really didn't, they couldn't prove Yahweh Shai guilty on nothing. So they had to set up these false, wicked uh, uh, witnesses and stuff. All right. But that's what they do. They sit there and, and, you know, say these certain things about us. But like we said, if that was the case, we were doing anything of that sort. We There's no way we'd have still been able to still be here teaching the shows. We, got, we don't hide. You know, y'all know, y'all know that. We write that in Front Street, you understand? Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I mean, everything we in the we in the uh, the transparent age, right? The age of the YouTube. You can see everybody's dirt or whatever. You can know what people. You can know anything you want to know, right? So how do you think that would stand? And we still be allowed that you see the witch hunt they got going after these these Esau's own, okay? This uh the head executives and shit in Hollywood. They got a witch hunt going against them for far less from some cast and couch hoes that's bringing allegations. What you think they would have did with us, starting with the apostles and on down, all of us a great millstone, if any of that bullshit was true? So these guys talk all this shit, but it's a lie and they hold in a slander because they don't have no record of none of that shit happen because it didn't happen. And we don't promote that and we don't teach that. We're just not, we're not, we don't shy away from anything controversial that the scriptures speak about okay we we right there for the you know hey we there for all that smoke so to speak as jake said okay but um anyway it's the book of um um matthews i'm gonna go to first let's start hitting the scriptures man i mean i went to that i guess that long dissertation to set set the tone but this is uh matthews chapter uh five and i'm gonna start at i'll start at the ninth verse or verse, yeah, I'll start at verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they should be called the children of the Most High. And, and don't think this peace is talking about, don't get it twisted, man. 
You know, you can find out more about it in Ephesians, the second chapter. The piece is talking about between the Mosai and the Israelites and, and the Israelite foreigners that were far away. You understand? You know, peace between the brothers, between Israel, because the Lord said there's no peace unto the wicked. So, you know, it ain't talking about the, the damn so-called white man. But anyway, verse 10, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And what's righteousness? This word. So when you teach the word and you come out and, and uh, you know, speak the truth that we're the children of Israel, we're the true people that the Bible is talking about, the Lord's chosen people, that was us, that the so-called white man is actually Esau and they stole our heritage and that the Lord plans on destroying them in these next up, up and coming days that we're in. We're in the last days, America's Babylon the Great. So when you speak these things, people don't like it. So that's what they got to do. And try to slander you. You sit there and, and tell the truth. That look, it's going to be a lot of people that's going to die. The scriptures say the slain of the Lord should be many. All right. So that's only speaking the truth. We're only being truthful. So it said, "Blessed are you when, when they should persecute when you're persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, right, and persecute you, and that's what they revile, slander, and you talking all kind of shit, right, and persecute you." And she'll say all men of evil against you falsely for my sake. Like a lot of people that bullshit GMS is, is, is child rapists. Man, get the fuck out. You, you bugging, man. Brothers got, we, we got uh, uh, sons and daughters, man. And through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, the Most High protects our families, man. We got women, man. You know, some brothers don't, some brothers do. But in, in, in one thing, with me, me and any other brother, we all, I've always, we never, that's a no fly zone, man. You don't fuck with the with the ch with the children, man. You understand? You got brothers that got children. We we compare. We love our children, but it's just that they don't come before this work. This work comes first, okay? And we understand that. Look, the Most High can take whatever woman you got. He can take her away from you. You never put your woman before this truth. You never put your children before this truth. All right. The Most High is able to just like with Job. He can give you more children, but do brothers? Of course you do, man. You understand? And and, and it ain't no. It ain't never been no. Foul play or none of that shit, because we never believed in that, man. Now, you can't find no pr paperwork to prove that, man, so that's another lie. But it's cool because they said that that was going to happen. So that further proves who the real men of the Lord are. And a lot of guys that when they see, uh, the you know, the Israelites on, on YouTube, you see all these different groups and everything now. And what a lot of people do, because they, they're not spiritual, they want to look for the more clean, smooth, smooth you know, uh, 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 you know, for the ones who look like they might be the the best dressed, and you know what I'm saying, instead of really listening to the word and everything, a lot of guys they might watch GMS and they like, damn, y'all brothers, the Lord, they, they, cause you can't front, especially starting. I mean, Apostle to the amount of uh information the Lord revealed to him and the spirit the Most High gave him, as well as the other apostles and and elders and you know Tyler Dotbaum and certain other brothers that get down, you can't deny it, but they, they, you know, cause they, they, uh, offended, they offended at the word. So that's why they don't, you know, they, they, they like, nah, we ain't messing with them. They don't realize it's not us. It's the spirit of the Lord. You ain't turning your back on us. You turning your back on Yahweh shot. You see, and see, the thing is, is that they're not built to go through that slander. A lot of people like, man, I don't like the fact that they put, you know, uh, hey, cause nobody, that's the worst thing to be called is a, a so-called pedophile child molester. But. You got people that's going to call you that because why? They can't deal with this truth, man. We be hitting them so hard with this truth. They got to find something. And then they got to, you know, you figure if you say, how you say, if you say a lie enough, it becomes the truth as the saying go. So they figure if they put that out there and put a smear campaign and tell everybody, they'll turn people against us and not realizing that the most high controls everything, man. And we really don't care about public opinion, man. And you always have these false uh, uh, witnesses against you, man. He said, rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward is in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. So they did the same thing to the ancient men of the Lord. So the true men of the Lord, yeah, they are going to be shoveling shit and dirt all over us, man. Okay? And that's that's to test you, man. And see if you're still going to be faithful. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, dealt with it as well. Now I'm going to jump. I'm in Matthews. I'm going to jump to um Matthews. Go to the 26th chapter. Like I said, I got a few scriptures dealing with this 
topic. Lord willing, we'll see how many of them we get through. Uh, go to Matthew 26, around 40. Get to the point. 45. Okay, this is Matthew 26 and 45. It says, Then cometh he to his disciples and saith unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. And this is when um Yahweh Shai was at the Garden of Gethsemane, right? When he was praying to the Lord three times if, the, uh, if there was any other way to take that cup away from him, right? And the disciples kept falling asleep when he, you know. So this is after the third time. It says, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hand of sinners. So this is what happened to our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And, and he was betrayed into the hand of sinners. Which Jude, you know, when you read on, Judas is the, the demon that set the Lord up, but that was to fulfill prophecy anyway. So guess what? We're gonna be betrayed, uh, uh, you know, or be betrayed into the hand of sinners, man. We you're gonna have people sitting up there putting lies up, saying, Oh, yeah, these guys, they they uh you know, they they you know, they're gonna sit there and trump all kind of charges up up against us. These guys believe in this, they're cult, they uh they, they they kill kids and you know they're gonna try to tie all kind of man they they were connected with Charles Manson you know they got the remains of Charles Manson buried in a closet you know they're gonna say all kind of shit man you see because they did this to the Lord but anyway a verse forty six rise let us be going be behold he is at hand that doth betray me and while he yet spake lo Judas one of the twelve came and with him a great multitude with swords and staffs from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he who same as he. Hold him fast. <laughs> and forthwith he came to Yahweh Shai and said, Hell, master, and kissed him. You know, that flattery. That's why that flattery ain't ain't the way to go, man. You know, do this all in the flattery and ass kissing. That's because they're trying to set you up, man. You know? In time, when some shit seems like it's too good, you got to, I mean, don't get me wrong, his brothers and men that are sincere, but, you know, you know a, a, a fucking phony nigga when you see him, man. All right? But um, anyway, verse 50, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahweh Shai and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh Shai stretched out, of hand, out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. And again, that just shows you the type of men, the men, men of the Lord were. You see, and that was Peter. He could, I believe that his servant, the high priest's servant name was Malchus. It tells you another part of the scriptures, his actual name in the gospel. So, right? So, verse 52. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Okay? So not that it was evil to have a sword, but that, look, you can't, Yahweh Shai had to suffer that, man, okay? Because why? You know, Esau, Satan was given that, that space to rule, you understand? So, you know, it wasn't, wasn't the time to use no sword or whatever. But in the kingdom, you got damn right, we're going to have, we're going to be having swords, man, you know? In the kingdom of heaven, once the Lord establishes us in our kingdom, just like right now, these devils, they got the modern day sword, which is what? The gun. They they and that's how they rule over Jake with the gun, the baton, all kind of different weapons, mace, uh the taser, right? Well, guess what? We're gonna have even better weapons, man. Okay, because we all gonna we gonna get the Lord gonna give us payback, man. The Heavenly Father believes in payback. This is the scriptures tell you in 2 Thessalonians, uh one in uh matter of fact, let me just get it real quick. I'll come back, come back to there. Just read it real quick. Second Thessalonians 1 and 6 says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. This is out of the scriptures. All right. It's a righteous thing with the Most High to pay back uh, tribulation, hell, to them that trouble you. And who's the main person that's been troubling us is Esau, the so-called white man, right along with the other nations that, that are all throughout our neighborhoods and that that afflict us right along with the so-called white man, all right? And shit, then, you bring it to, to some of our people too, man, okay? And when the time comes, the Most High is going to deal with them, man. He is going to raise up his men to, uh, 
to, to go out there and destroy those that that came up against his came up against his men. Okay, it says, "And to you who are troubled, rest with us." Because see, we gotta wait. The scriptures say, "Wait ye upon upon the Lord." And to you who are troubled, if you catching hell, if you fed up for all the whatever's going on, and you really can't stand all the, the abominations and fucked up shit that this world and this devil is doing, then you should be you should be with us, man. Waiting, doing what we're doing. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Mighty angels, man. It, man, them stealth fighter jets ain't gonna be able to, they ain't gonna have zero percent of a chance against the Lord when he come back with the mighty angels and what's called the UFOs, man. They're going to, this devil's going to get fucked up so bad. That's why I don't care, man. Look, you want to come get me, kill me, put, do whatever the fuck you want to do. You understand? I know without a shadow of a doubt, when the Lord come back, that's your ass, man. You can't, you ain't going to pass that, man. The most side set your boundaries. You ain't passing it, man. You see? So go ahead keep sitting there lying on us, call us this, that, and the third. Uh, 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 I mean, we're going to speak the truth, whether you like it or not, man. We ain't here to cater the motherfuckers. Uh, 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 feelings and opinions. Oh, you know that's kind of harsh. Why you got to say it like that? You don't. You can get your message across another. Get the fuck out of here, man. We gonna do it the way the Lord said. Isaiah fifty-eight and one. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. The Most High told us how we supposed to do this thing, man. You know, you always got some sideline niggas always thinking they can fine tune things. They don't understand that this is how the Lord set things up, man. And if you ain't spiritual, you ain't gonna see it, man. You're going to get offended like a little bitch. And overall, you ain't come coming up against us, even though you might be talking shit technically to us. But really, you're coming up against the Most High. Yeah, how about Shemi Shai? And the Lord is going to destroy you and your whole household, man. Okay? You had one wicked nigga aching. Hey, the Most High is no joke, man. That's why the scriptures say it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You had this simple-ass nigga aching who went against what the Most High told him to do. All right? And that shows you why you can't have no niggas, man. And that's why the spirit beyond the apostles and other brothers that look, man, if you, you ain't a part of just get the fuck out of here, man. You know? If you ain't if you ain't ready to uh to put in that work, if you ain't if you afraid and, and all that other shit, man, then this ain't for you, man. Because you had a, a nigga, a wicked ass nigga named Aiken, when we were going taking the land from the Philistines, we went to battle. We never had no casualties. And the Lord will command, he say, look. When y'all take them down, don't touch none of their they gold, none of their uh, idols, their women or nothing. The Lord say, don't touch shit. Burn everything to the ground. Sometimes the Lord will say, look, you may have, you know, you could take the, the spoils, right? The spoils. But the, sometimes the Lord said, don't take no spoils. So the Lord told us not to take no spoils. And this nigga, Aiken, took some spoils. And you always get, and that's how you know that those were the niggas, man. You know, it was some old rotten ass nigga, man. Thinking that the, nobody's not gonna know, he took this, some. I think it was uh, some gold cups or what, idols or whatever the hell, was, gold idols and statues. I forgot exactly what it, everything was, and he stashed it. And then all of a sudden, we started going to war, and we was having casualties. People was dying. And after a while, you know, Joshua and the rest of the men, we was like, "Damn, wait a minute, man! Normally the Lord is with us. We don't have casualties. What the hell?" So, and our people were spiritual back then. They went to inquire of the Lord what was going on. And it's, the Lord was dealing with Joshua. All right. After Moses went back to the spirit world, the Lord spirit was with Joshua and, and Caleb and Othniel and all the other different men, the, the captains and everything. So the most I showed them that, look, somebody did what I told them not to do. Somebody took spoils from uh, uh, whichever Hamites that it was, the Philistines that no, I'm not sure if it was the Philistines. Whichever uh, Canaanites or whatever Ham might say it was, I got to go back into the story to get the exact tribe of Ham that it was. But um, somebody st took spoils after I commanded you not to. So when Joshua found that out, man, he was pissed, man. He was heated. And he came and he gathered everybody together and basically he shook Jake down. He shook Israel down and got to the bottom of it. I mean, you can read it, of course, in the book of Joshua to get all, you know, get everything. But but long story short, he found out it was Aiken. Aiken said he he said it was me. I took, you know, I couldn't help myself, blah, blah. I took this and that. So Joshua took him out. He said, Man, why the hell did you do this, man? What the fuck is wrong? You know? And he, he took him, his whole family, and even his dog, his animals, and they stoned him 
They stoned them all to death, even the dogs, man. They put them in a circle, and the whole nation went to work on them, and they lit, burnt them on fire, man. So that's why I said it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. You see? But um, go back to Matthews. Matthews uh, 26. Right, 26 and 52. <clears throat> then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou, thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? So Yahweh Shai was let, like letting them know that, look, man, don't, don't, I'm laying my life down. You're not taking my life. You seen all you y'all y'all seen all the power that the Lord gave me, my father gave me. You think my father, I can't get 12 legions of angels? All right, one one angel itself uh, dis could destroy this whole damn world. 12 legions of angels, man? Come on, man. <clears throat> but how how then should the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be? You see? And that's why Yahweh Shai said, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me. <clears throat> so Yahweh Shai, you know, he, he just he was that lamb. And that's why that's how we are. He said, I set forth you as lambs, you know, as sheep amongst wolves. And that's the spirit we in right now. Okay? But when the, when it's time, the most high gonna wake up that lion and all of us, man. And that's gonna be it, man. But right now we sheep. So that's why, you know, we're slandered every day. We, you know, people talk all kind of shit and try to and and then what they're doing is an effort of trying to really get us arrested or put to death. That's what they're doing. They're really seeking our a hurt or seeking something bad to happen to us because they don't they're offended at the word. You know, it goes beyond and I'm well, I'm just not gonna listen to these guys. They get cut and then they get offended and they, you know, and that's Jake. Jake is just wicked, man. But that's all right, because the most high gonna get them niggas too, man. In that same hour, said Yahweh Shai to the multitudes, Are you come out as against the thief with swords and staffs for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. Okay, because Yahweh Shai told him they're going to deny him. He told Peter he's going to deny him thrice before the cock crew. All right. So now I'm going to go to, uh, go to uh, Psalm 1. go to Acts. Real quick. Okay, the same thing happened with Stephen. And, I'm, and this is deep because that's why a lot of, you know, you see a lot of these dudes, you know, these scoffers and, and, and these guys that was once amongst us or guys that we knew from years ago, they, they popping back on the scene and they're talking shit, <laughs> you know, you know, they talking shit to the men of the Lord, you know, about uh, the men that they learned from, about Pastor Tahar, they talking about him like a, like a dog, which, man, you know, that's that's just fucked up. Some of them talk about King Masha like a dog, you know? They talk about the other apostles like dogs. They talk about the Lord. Some of them went as far to denounce the name of Yahweh, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and talk, you know, so, man, the most high going to get them. But the reason is, is because why? They can't withstand this truth, man. And that's why they did the same thing with Stephen. All right? I'm, I'm going to read, uh, I'll start at verse 8. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Just like you see the apostles and the rest of the brothers, the men of Great Millstone, GMS, the same people that everybody slander and say, oh, they're the worst camp, the worst of the worst. They do this. They do all these other bullshit lies. But the Lord you, you know, used us, starting through, through the apostles and the rest of the men, to what? To do wonderful miracles among the people, such as hitting them highways and byways, man. Why do you think that the, uh, YouTube is, is set on fire with the presence of Hebrew Israelites and, and you know, how even these other so-called black conscious groups or whatever, they weren't, they didn't know how to use that platform. And, and, and uh, I remember Sarnetta, which he was, he's responsible for springboarding a lot of them guys in the so-called black conscious community, their careers or whatever the case is, he built up, he helped build up Polite and all them other, other uh, false niggas, all right, clowns. But he even, had, he came, he said, look, man, I give y'all guys props, man. Y'all out here on the on the front line, though. I will give y'all that. He said, y'all here consistently. He's seen us out there in the winter and everything. So he knew that we was for real. He just got mad because we ain't want to 
take the money. We wasn't. We don't do this for for money. And deep down in his mind, he, I know that that he, he still got a hell of a respect for us because he's like shit. You know, he weighed a few dollars in front of ISUPK. They like, all right, come on, nigga. You know, uh, come to the they invite him to the pass over, start kick, kissing his ass and everything. They know that he know that we ain't like that, man. He he, he wanted to get the Bloods and Crips on us, or Polite did. We ain't flinch, man. We stood we stood our ground. We stood in the lot because we trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see what I'm saying? But again, the point is, is that through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, working on the apostles and the rest of the brothers of, of GMS, we inspired a lot of people to go out there to, for you know whether they false or, or being sincere to do what they do. So th those are wonderful miracles and wonderful works that's been done. Just like what Stephen did. Verse 9. Then there arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the Libertines and the Cyrenians and the Alexandrians. Uncle Tom niggas, wicked ass niggas. These are all so-called Negroes, man. Wicked Negroes calling themselves Jews. And of them, of Sicilia and of Asia, disputing with Stephen. And that's what they do with us whether it's online, coming down to the camp. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. And you keep it real, y'all can't resist the word. That's why through the spirit of the Lord, we're like that great millstone, we're able to keep going and rolling over and rolling over. All you suckers, man, you know, that come up there trying to play play around with the word of the Lord or trying to think you're going to play the men of the Lord to the left or whatever. The most I ain't having that, man. The Lord ain't with that, man. That's why... A lot of them be getting shut down. Verse 11. Then they suborned men which said, all right, let's, let's get that, that word suborn. See, that's, and that's what's happening right now, man. They, they're paid niggas. And we know that a lot of these guys are agents that's coming out there to the camps and everything. We get it, man. We get it. We we, we understand that's that's what they got to do, you know? Like like when, when you fucking somebody up in a fight, they they gotta hit you with a low blow. That's you know they got you know, that's that's the only way they could maybe escape. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but even sometimes that don't work because because you see because you know a, a low life nigga. You already know. All right, I know you're gonna go there anyway. There's a lot of these guys out there like they just they're doing what we expected them to do. You know, right? It says to throw or put under, to suggest to the mind, to instruct privately, instigate. And that's what a lot of these niggas do. Some of you niggas used to be on the phone calls, having uh, 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 conference calls and shit. You know what I'm saying? The Google chats, or whatever the fuck y'all be doing. Yeah, man, that was probably we gonna we, man, we gonna man, you fuck them niggas, man. We gonna we got these new breakdowns. We don't need the hell. You know, y'all be on the phone gathering, gathering up. And rebellion is is popular. A lot of people like rebellion. Okay, but remember, rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. Especially uh, rebelling against the Most High. It's a difference when you rebel against the devil or the, the system, but rebellion against the most eyes is a sin of witchcraft. But that's popular. A lot of niggas love that that uh, false liberty, that false freedom. As the scripture said, he promising them liberties, right? Yeah, maybe you can be up under them men. Men can't tell you you do whatever you. So that because that's niggas, and that's why a lot of niggas stay in these churches and everything. Because why? They can feel so called holy or justified. And do whatever the hell they want to do. They don't have to really come into no real true restrictions. If they smoke cigarettes, they can... I mean, you go to these churches. I mean, them people in the churches... Show me a church where the whole congregation don't smoke no cigarettes, man. You know, just, just one little thing. Show me a church where the whole congregation don't eat no pork. Or, or lobster or shrimp. You see what I'm saying? They know that they could go there and they can still continue in their wickedness, man. And that's why the Lord is getting ready to get, get rid of all of these false churches, all these different religions... All these other different uh, uh, groups, right? It says to this is the word suborn, right? And this is what happens to instruct privately, instigate, and you got a lot of scoffers. That's what they do, you know. And that's how we know that somebody came to a lot of you guys, man. A lot of you guys is coming up out of the woodworks, out of nowhere. Some of y'all, y'all might have knew us from way back in the days. Uh, y'all might have came into the truth through the YouTube or whatever. And now y'all, you know, you're sitting there slandering. You got some other clowns, man. You know, and they got the name to call themselves apostles of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which they ain't nothing but a bunch of clowns. The spirit ain't dealing with them, you know. They learned from the apostles, and then they got their old renegade group, but they're not going to 
admit where they learned the truth from or where they learned the, the, the word from. They're not going to, like a lot of these people teach against what we're teaching, but they'll still have like the 12 tribe sign that we use. Like all Everything that we use, you know, the, the, the br certain breakdowns, they pick certain breakdowns that they want. Uh, um, the last one, Kadash and everything, you know, just disrespectful. But the scriptures speak about you're going to have people that weren't, weren't going to endure sound do doctrine. Uh, you're going to have these guys that's going to be disobedient to parents, right? But anyway, it says to instruct privately, <laughs> which is, this is a deep word, to instruct privately, instigate, to bribe or induce someone unlawfully or secretly to perform some misdeed or commit a crime. You see? To induce a person, especially a witness, to give a false test testimony. So that's what they were doing back with Stephen. Because why? And why were they doing it? Because of the wisdom which he spake. They were, they were cut. So it said, then they suborned men, meaning they instigated men, they bribed men to do, do a, a misdeed, to be a false witness, which said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against the Mosai, which he didn't blaspheme, but they, they, they would lie. They got, and they knew it, but they got these false witnesses to sit there and lie on them. Just like they do do to us. It says, and they stirred up the people because why? They, it's a thing of controlling the narrative, man. That's what Esau has does like in the court system. That's why they, they do things, in, which, I mean, they empower, but the way they got it set up to where basically they, you're guilty before you, you even reach the approach to the, the, uh, stand. You know, they, they, have, they make you sit there and be nervous and make you, uh, uh, oh, you got to put your hands to your side or behind your back. You can't sit there. They, your posture can't be in no authori authoritative manner at all, right? And what they do is, like, with anything, even to, to a speed and traffic ticket, they sit there, look, we're going to give you this. We'll, we'll reduce it. We'll give you, instead of giving you, paying you a fine of, giving you a fine of $500, we'll give you a fine of three, $300. Or if you want to keep going, you can take it to trial, and then we're going to give you two years in jail. You know what I'm saying? They, like... Basically, they want to control the narrative. They want to want you to do what they want you to do. You see, and that's how they get Jake. You know, when, when they have him in these court systems, because why Esau controls the narrative. Especially if they got a public defender. He's in their pocket, man. You see, that's why you ain't gonna get no justice from this devil in, in this system. You still got Jake fighting for, and that's why the Lord is gonna destroy a lot of our people because they don't really want no justice, man. You know, they just going on emotions right now. You see. But that's what Esau wants to do, and that's what, you, what they did here with Stephen. They were controlling the narrative. They said, look, we gonna, we tired of him speaking his, the word about the Lord, speaking about Yahweh Shai. We need y'all to, you know, because he hey, he, he kind of said this, and they'll try to use his words. N niggas, they might pay him, slide him some shekels on a low. Okay, yeah, 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 he blasphemed. Yeah, yeah, okay. And that's how it happens, the same thing. So verse 12, and they stirred up the people and the elders, and the scribes came upon him and caught him and brought him into the council because people get riled up. Just like if you say certain certain things, like if you, you know, especially dealing with children, everybody got a soft spot, you know, for children, right? Because, you know, the innocence of a child is the saying go, right? So, so, and your duty is to protect your sons and your daughters while they, while they're young and underneath, you know, until they're of age of their own, you see? So when you hear about something, and I, I still get, when I, I see certain shit, it always boils my, my blood, man, you know? It, like especially with these Roman Catholic priests and all that and all this, this nonsense, you know, you got this great witch hunt against all these sluts that wanted to, wanted to be in Hollywood and wanted to do anything that it took to get there, right? And then now after their career didn't go whichever way or now it's trendy to talk about you've been molested and raped, now they cry and file, and it's a great big witch hunt against all these motherfuckers, right? But nobody's still not really saying much about all the, the, the which the greatest pedophilia comes out of the Roman Catholic Church. Is so many, I mean, they play probably up to billions of dollars in lawsuits, man, sweeping shit up under the rug, you see? But yet you want to sit there and, and, and lie and slander and throw, talk, talk about we uh, uh, rape little girls and all that, and knowing that that's going to stir people's emotions up, you know, and they do that because, but that's, the most side does that too, because it's truth ain't for everybody, man, 
this truth is not for everybody. So we don't give a fuck what the consensus think about us or whatever the case is, man. You see, the Lord didn't give a damn, man. That's why he spoke in parables, man. You see, it says, and set up false witnesses. Look, they did it back then, which said this man ceases not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Yahweh Shai shall destroy this place and shall change the customs which Moses delivered us. And all that sat in the council looking steadfastly on him saw his face as it had been the face of an angel because the spirit of the Lord was on him, man. The spirit of the Lord was on him. But to show you how wicked they are, they knew that he, he was innocent, right? But because of that wickedness and that pride, and it's part of the prophecy, part of the, the cross that we, we got to bear. That's why eventually they end up putting him to, putting him to death. He, they turned him into a martyr, man. They slayed him, man. Okay? And that's what a lot of people would love to do to us because why? The truth hurts, man. The truth hurts. They're tired of hearing this truth. This truth is doing so much damage to, to uh, this society, the government. You know, uh, apart from everything else that's happening, you got the, the, the true men of the Lord prophesying and break, breaking things down, man, and exposing things, which we've been doing for years, man, you see? So now I want to hit, one, hit maybe one, one more scripture. One more scripture. One more scripture. I mean, I can keep going on and on with this, you know, with this topic, because this is a part of it. We gonna, And that's why you got to, you know, you got to count the cost, make sure that you, you know what you're getting involved in, man. You know, don't just be, you know, maybe, maybe I might get a, a couple more scriptures, man. Let's see how, how it goes down. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 31. And I'm going to start at uh, verse 13. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. Same thing we read about with, with uh, Stephen. All the prophets go through that. And, and yeah, yeah, they, they got all kind of slander. Man. They, a lot of these people, some of them might have know, might know us and know brothers. Some of them don't know a goddamn thing about us, right? But it, it is catching on to the, you know, the, the, the slander, the, the false reports about us, right? And they, they're carrying it on, you know, thinking that it's cool to just keep sitting there saying, you know, and it's cool. It's cool, though. It's part of it, man. We, we, ain't, we ain't got no problem with it. I don't give a fuck. I can care less with the fuck anybody thinks about only person I care who think about me is Yahweh about Shimmy Yahweh Shot. And you know, and then the Akim too, of course. Right? The true Akim. It says, But I trusted in thee, O Lord, Yahweh about Shimmy Yahweh Shot. I said, Thou art my power. My times are in thy hand. See? <laughs> the most high is the one that controls life or death. He said, Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. Because we do got enemies. See, these people, you go in these, these church systems, they have you think, oh, uh, the, the enemy is Satan. It's just an invisible force. No, you got actual motherfuckers that are your enemies, man. And it's, it starts with Esau, the so-called white man. It said, make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. And that's what we all be begging the Lord, man. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And overall, the Most High is going to turn, turn things around, man. Because the Lord is the one who really controls the narrative. And he's going to paint the narrative the right way as he said it. Meaning what? He's going to set us in order right before their eyes. And then he's going to raise us up. And he's going to give certain men. All right. Remember, Zerubbabel is going to get down too. Okay. The scripture says, you know, uh, uh, O great mountain, thou shalt become a plain. So the Lord is, man, the most high is going to get every, everything is going to be all right, man. You know what I'm saying? As far as for the men of the Lord. It says, uh, let the lion lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. righteous. And that's what it is. It's a, it's a race contempt. It's not no, let's get to the bottom of the line or whatever the case is. You know damn well, all the stuff that they accuse us of selling out uh, witchcraft. and We ain't did none of that shit, man. We ain't never did that. That's all part of the lies and the slanders. You know, ripping people. Who the hell we rip off, man? If we ripped off people, why the hell are we catching so much hell, man? You know? Brothers got to work fucking 25 hours in, in a day just to make ends meet and, you know, daily bread and pay bills. So who the fuck did we rip off, man? 
Riddle me that. Anyway, uh, oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee. Which that, because that's what it's all about. And a, a lot of Jake, especially these guys teaching this nonsense, they don't really got no fear of the Lord. And the Most High is going to make you have this. You're going to fear him. The Lord's going to put his fear in you, man. And you ain't going to like the way you do it, man. It says, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in, in the secret of thy presence from the pride of men. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strifes of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he have showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. And overall, and the Lord is going to protect us with the chariots, right? Psalms in the 91st chapter, right? We're going to be protected by the shadow of the Almighty. And then we're going to, the Lord's going to bring us back down here on this earth and establish a righteous, our kingdom, a righteous kingdom, man. You see? But um, I'm, I'm going to end it right there. You know, I think I hit the point. I, mean, I had tons of other scriptures, of course, but I just want to just hit the point. So, you know, you see, you know, they, brother, we used to it already, man. What haven't they said about us, man? You know? But um, anyway, you know, all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And with that, you know, hope brothers was edified as always. And I'm going to say Shalom.